So there we did a 180. You see how the feeling is much more vague than the visual clue. Head towards the landing, please. We have nil wind down to the lake, so after every manoeuvre you can just turn and face back towards the landing, please. Okay, let's try that on the opposite side now. So looking straight ahead, just relying on the slipping feeling in your harness and the brake pressure dropping. Let's go. Okay, and there we did a 360. So almost developed into spin, but you see when you put your hands up, the glider will recover very quickly. Okay, now I want to initiate a slow turn. Let's turn on the right-hand side, slow it down the outside, and that's going to try and stop the turn. So let's slow down the outside. Now let's push a bit more on the inside. Looking at that inside wing tip, slow it down a bit on the outside. Now just try and force the turn, push it through. And release. Catch. And release. Okay, so there the glider actually wanted to stall. So next time I want a little bit less outside brake. And then we'll just push through deeper on the inside brake. Let's go. So initiate a turn. Slow it down a bit on the outside. Now push through on the inside. Try and force that turn. Look at that wingtip. Just push the inside one. And release. Catch. And release. Okay, so stop the rotation towards that tip and head towards the landing. So you can see it does feel different, it's a little more vague. Now if you're ever in a rowdy thermal, there's lots of pilots about. That can happen very quickly. I'll just get you a little closer to the shoreline. You can try that on the opposite side. It looks like your glider's more happy to go parachutal and slip into the stool than it is to just spin on one side, which is interesting. So let's try that on the opposite side now. Initiate the turn, slow it down on the outside, just a little bit. Now I'll try and push through on that inside. Look at that tip. And release. Catch. And release. Good. So there you can see it happened a bit quicker because we had a little more energy in the turn. So the feeling is still the same. If you ever feel that vague slipping feeling or the pressure dropping, then trouble is coming. We need to put a hand up and it will recover straight away. Okay, we have nil wind in the landing field to lose all of your height at the back of the field before your final approach. Good job, Colin. Squeeze deeper, deeper. Hand up. 
Stand up, keep it squeezed on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Pull more on the inside. Slow it down. Hand up, hand up. Okay, so it's, you need to be a little bit more finesse on that outside. That's it, now build it back up, squeeze on the inside, build it up. Slow it down, hand up, hand up. Slow it down, hand up, and we're out. And head towards the landing, please. So you can see people think that a spiral is an on-off manoeuvre, whereas actually you've got so much control with that outside, you can really regulate the speed. You just need a bit of finesse to be able to stay in and find a rhythm that's comfortable for you. You see on one of them, we dropped right into nose down, and you get a lot of descent without too much g-force. One more time. Now squeeze on, let's find some energy, let's go. Now slow it down, hand up. And we're out. Uh, squeeze on, deeper, deeper, deeper. And come out. Settle the roll, lean back, relax, catch. Now back. Head towards the landing, please. That one was better, we had a lot of energy. But you can just see the power you've got with that outside brake to regulate. Let's go, nice compact body. Pull down. Keep pulling down. Deeper. Good, now look at your wing. And then have a look straight ahead. You see your descent brake change. Have a look off to the side. And then when you're ready, release quickly and put your hands up. And the glider flies again.